Hi guys, Mike here for a new breakdance tutorial. So today I will show you how to do this really cool parallax effect with a scrolling animation feature. So let's start now. First we add a section. Change the head to 600 and add an image. So we are going to animate this image. So now we change the position of the image. You can do it by going to advanced wrapper and clicking many times or simply use a search engine here, find the position and change it to absolute zero, 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 zero. Okay, our section have to be full width. Okay, so now we have our image and we can animate it. Animation, scrolling animation, enable, vertical minus 100, zero. Okay, let's do that. Ah, oh, yes, I forgot. For the section, we have to change the overflow. Hidden. Okay, I have already explained how to do vertical animation in another tutorial, so don't forget to add an ID to the section, ID or class, but let's add an ID here, my section, and change the animation, the relative here, relative to the section. So here it is, we have our parallax effect. Okay, so this is not a bug, it's normal. Once again, we have to do some little things to make it work properly. Because our image, the ratio of our image will change, it's not always the same. So the best way to do that is to change the size of the image. So far, our class is 600 pixel high. Let's go to our image and change the size, so 100% width, and for the height, twice the size of our section. We change here as a cover, so now we have our image, and if we change the resolution, it will always look good. We don't have to worry about the size of the image, we can save it and check even the front end and change the size and we can add some of the cool effect. So let's go back to our animation, change the opacity, for example we can start with 0 and 1, 1, so we start like this. We have a cool fade effect or zero if you want to fade in and out. Like this, we can add a blur effect. Let's say 20, zero, and zero. So we start with a blur effect and then it's clear. So anyway, we can do many things. If we want to add something on top of that, so fading, for example. You just have to change the Z index here to make it on top of it. Right, we change the color and change the layout of the section so it's centered. And that's it. We have a cool background parallax effect that works well whatever the resolution we choose. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. See you next time.